Well, if my math is correct, I want to say we are hovering around 85 episodes of Meals from the Field. That's seven years dating back to 2014. Very first Meals from the Field we did was strawberries. So guess what? We are doing strawberries today. We're kind of getting into that right. strawberry season. We're in that lull time right now where there's not a lot of uh, things that That's are in season. So, in season. so we're looking uh, ahead to strawberries. Good to see you again, Marsha. You Marcia. too, Ray. Marsha Crowley, the best. Um, <laughs> and again, Marsha has... That's debatable. <laughs> Marsha has been with us from the beginning. We hope she's with us for many more years. Um, and so again, we are doing strawberries today. Uh, and we're also a little... Uh, I don't know, maybe a shout out to my heritage, a little pasta yeah, action pasta today. Pasta primavera, right. which means spring in Italian. There we go, oh, spring in Italian, there yeah, you go. There's, so, your, there's your history lesson for and today. And since there's not really a whole lot in season, we're okay. gonna do a primavera. Well, tell us what so you got. So this is, um, I've already got saute in, in here, garlic mm -hmm. and a medium onion chopped up. Let me turn that up just a little bit. We're gonna add to that a pound of asparagus that's been washed and cut into thirds, You're basically adding whatever vegetable you want to add to this. Mm -hmm. um, so I added my favorites. One yellow squash, you could use zucchini or leave it out or, you know, whatever. I think I still need to turn that up just a little bit. I don't want it to burn, but. You want um, the sizzle is what I want the for. sizzle. Okay. This is a, an orange bell pepper, but you could use green or red mm -hmm. or yellow. I kind of, kind of want to go with the color on this. Okay. And this is a pint of grape tomatoes that I've cut in half. We're just stirring the, all that in. And you're going to stir this, let it simmer or saute for about three to four minutes until stuff starts getting soft. So we're not going to, of course, not going to do that right now. All right, to that you're going to add um, some olive oil, salt and pepper, and Italian seasoning. All You're mixed in there. All mixed okay. in there together. A um, quarter of a cup of vegetable broth. Here again, you could use chicken mm -hmm. if you wanted. Just kind of went with the vegetables. All right, once that simmers a little more. Now it's sizzling. Now you're gonna, then you're gonna add one carrot that's been grated. You're going to add two tablespoons of fresh basil that's been, or chopped fresh basil, I should say. And I love basil. I just love the smell mm -hmm. of it. And then a quarter of a cup of Parmesan cheese. And here, like I said, you could use pretty much any vegetable that you want. And we're just going to eat that. We're going to eat that. That looks awesome. You're going to add to that. Don't even worry about the pasta. That looks great right there. I know. There. It's so good. It just tastes so fresh with the lemon and um, the asparagus and the tomatoes. and It's just all so fresh. And then we're going to add, and I'm not going to put all of this in there because it'll go everywhere, and I know how you like mm. me to Oh, I love, I love when stuff just like spills out everywhere. This is a pound of cooked this is penny pasta, but you could use anything. Bow ties would be really pretty in here. Sure. Um, macaroni, spaghetti, whatever. All right, you're just going to stir all that in together mm -hmm. and serve it, serve it warm. I tried it cold. It wasn't that great, but you could eat it cold. Okay. And that's it. Let that's me turn it. this off. Okay, the next thing, this recipe is embarrassingly simple. <laughs> I mean, it's embarrassingly simple. This is a pack, a large package, 17 and a half ounce package of cinnamon rolls. Mm -hmm. And I hate to mention brand names, but Pillsbury Grands are the sure. best. Okay, so you cut, you separate the rolls and you cut each roll into four or five pieces. You put it in the bottom of a round or square pan. Then you're going to add, this is five tablespoons of melted butter, a third of a cup of brown sugar. You're going to sprinkle a cup of berries. I'll move this over here so you... And we were using strawberries since they're in season. Right. And these are cut in quarters, you know, just eyeball it. You could use blueberries, you could use blackberries. Um, I'm thinking apples would probably be good in this too in the fall. Nice. 
Like I said, it's ridiculously easy. Then you're going to add this butter brown sugar mixture to the top of it. And you're going to bake this at three, uh, 350 for 25 to 30 minutes and watch it so, you know, they don't get too brown. Everybody's oven is different. Mm -hmm. All right, bake it like this. Then when it comes out of the oven, you are going to use the icing that comes with the cinnamon rolls oh. and put it over the top when it's still hot. I was wondering what you're going to do with I'm that. telling you, it is so good. <laughs> that's awesome. And that's ridiculously easy. Yeah, it just looks absolutely delicious. And, uh, you know, before we send you on your way, I have to give a huge shout out to Marsha. Again, she has been doing this for seven years, drives all the way into downtown Atlanta once a month. Thank you. Thank you, Ray. Just to let it's you know, fun. Meals from the Field um, is one of our biggest viewed Very segments good. on YouTube. People continue to tune in. Thank you to our viewers for continuing to do that. Yes, um, that's good so to know. So a lot of people, I do want to give Marsha a shout out and let her know how much we all appreciate what she does for us every month because it's phenomenal. We get phone calls, we get emails, we get everything. Uh, people loving this segment. Good. So thank you for that's all good you to do. Know. But we're not done yet because you know what we have to do? We have to tell people where they can go to find that's all right. this stuff. That's right. That's your job. Yeah, that's my job. Simple. Go to farm-monitor.com. Uh, Marsha, again, she sends those recipes to us every month when we get done here. We put them up on the web there for you. Very, very easy to follow. And if you have questions, just email us. I always call Marsha and say, hey, we had a question. Um, and she always gets back to me uh, pretty quick. So uh, again, farm-monitor.com, go to the recipe section. Everything is there for you in detail. And again, Marcia, thank you so much. Thank you, Ray. So good seeing Enjoyed you this it. month. We will see you next month, and we will see you next month. <laughs>